All right, so we're gonna graph three X plus Y equals two. So the first thing I want you all to do is to solve this formula for Y. So you gotta solve for Y, you gotta get Y in its own so that the equation looks like this, you know, Y equals something. So please press pause on the video, everyone, and try that yourself. Awesome, all right. So I hope you all tried it. Three X is being added on, so we need to undo adding three X. And the way to do that is subtract 3x from both sides. So we get y equals 2 minus 3x, which is correct. Or you could write negative 3x plus 2, because you have a negative 3x and a, it's a positive 2 there, right? Um, and so now that we have the y in its own, we can do a little table and plug the, and get some points, right? And they're asking us to use these as x values, negative one, zero, and one, because each of these is like a point x, y, and they're asking us to use negative one, zero, and one as our x values. Now to graph a line, you can use any points you like, you can make up the x values, but they're suggesting you use these, so we'll use these. So the first point is y equals negative, negative three times negative one plus two. So we've got to plug negative one in for x, so please press pause on the video and try that yourself. All right, so it's, you're gonna multiply and then add. Think about PEMDAS. Negative three times negative one, positive three, plus two, between two, five, right? So the next point is negative three times zero plus two. And then we have negative three times one plus two. So everybody, please press pause on the video and get these points and then check your answer. All right, so the first point, negative three times zero is zero. Zero plus two, two. Next one, negative three times one is negative three. Negative three plus two is three bad guys and two good guys, one bad guy, negative one, right? So now we have the points. So it's x is negative one, y is five. x is zero, y is two. x is one, y is negative one, right? So we can graph those points on the grid. So I want you guys to press pause on the video, graph these points on your grid, plot them, and then check the video to check your answer. So the first point, x is negative one, y is five, is this point here. And then we have x is zero, y is two. Okay, x is zero, y is two. Then we have x is one, y is negative one x is one, y negative one down here, right? So there's our points, we draw a line through them. And that's our line. And I cannot help myself but quickly to go over the slope on y-intercept because this is of the form y equals mx plus b, for b is the y-intercept, and m is the slope. If you look at your graph, you'll see that the line hits through the y-axis at two, that's the y-intercept, b, and that two appears here in the equation. Because when x is zero, y is two. And the other thing is the slope. If you think about rise over run, that's what slope is, rise over run. And if we take any point and get to the next one, from left to right, we're gonna run one and rise negative three, because we're gonna drop three. Run one, down three. Over one, down three. Over one, down three. Over one, down three. So the run is one each time, the rise is negative three. So each time to get from one point to the other, we are going across one, and down three, and so that's negative three over one, which makes negative three, and that's our slope m. And if you look at the equation, negative three appears right here, that's your slope, your m, all right?